So I'm joined by Sir Bernard Ingham and we're um, talking about Gravitas. Um, so tell me, what, what does Gravitas mean to you? Well, Gravitas, I, th I think of Gravitas almost entirely in the political area because of my background. Uh, but I, I think that Gravitas is a combination of qualities uh, which, first of all, requires integrity of purpose. I think statesmanship is a suitable uh, definition of it in the sense that I think statesmen don't act in their own narrow or party interest. They do things because they believe it is right for the country or for uh, mankind. And uh, uh, that is a very severe test, I think, especially on modern politicians. Just on modern politicians, because we'll talk about um, your, your um, experience of politics in a moment, but with mod modern politicians, how does Gravitas fit with the modern world? Who has it? I Who think, doesn't? I think Gravitas is, 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 very, is a very difficult quality to grab these days, if, if you can grab it, uh, if you don't have it, naturally. Uh, for the simple reason, I think the television uh, has almost defined gravitas as uh, an ability to act before the camera, to sound grave and purposeful uh, regardless of whether you are or not. But in other words, it brings out the, 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 the thespian quality. And uh, secondly, of course, it demands um, a certain presence, telegenic, I think is the word, uh, and that's the last thing we need for governing nations, or indeed for churches or whatever. To be telegenic seems to me to be a serious liability, um, if that's all you are. Who, who would you be talking about in, in terms of our politicians at the moment? Who, who displays gravitas for you? Not many. Uh, uh, I, I, I find it very difficult. Uh, today to say that our politicians are up to standard uh, with the, those of the 20th century, frankly. Um, and this is partly because I think we've had the cult of spin, of celebrity, because you cannot divorce gravitas from performance. It's all very well uh, expressing yourself in grave tones. Uh, showing tremendous seriousness of intent if you don't deliver. I mean, what is, there is no gravitas in promising the earth and not delivering it. So That's somebody shallow. like somebody like Gordon Brown, Tony Blair, no, do no, they? They, 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 they? Well, Tony Blair had certainly a charisma, but I don't confuse that with gravitas. Um, and I, I mean, Gordon Brown has is so lugubrious that you would think he was automatically uh, had gravitas. I don't need any gravitas at all because he'd been found out. And uh, you, you, you don't long remain a statesman if you're not found out. And yet, uh, 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 to be a statesman mean, implies that you have very considerable seriousness or intent of depth, of weight, of, 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 of real quality of personality. So how important is gravitas in, in, in politics, well, I think in business? we need a hell of a lot more of it than we've got at the moment. All we've got at the moment is the cult of the celebrity spin and television uh, uh, with its five-second attention span. That's no good to anybody. Uh, and the poor old chap who aspires, or woman who aspires to have gravitas these days has somehow got to find a way of communicating this gravitas through five second attention spans. That's not easy. So who in your mind, I mean, sort of step back to when you, you were working in politics, who really epitomises it for you, epitomises this quality? Well, I, I mean, I think that Winston Churchill, I, mean, I didn't work for him, but I'm not that old, uh, but uh, uh, I think he had real gravitas. Why did he? How, how, can, how can we really get a handle well, on what he, it was about? He, well, I don't think anybody doubted the seriousness of purpose there, and I don't think anybody doubted his ability to face up to the most horrendous problems. 
and to discuss them frankly with people. Um, he didn't say, he, he talked about blood, sweat and tears. He didn't talk about winning big. He talked about the privations that people would have to go through if we were to, if we were to prevail. Uh, and uh, I think he had tremendous gravitas, even though he had this rather wonderful quality of being able to express it in an amusing way. He, he, he had a wonderful likeness of touch. I don't think we should necessarily confuse gravity, uh, 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 gravitas with um, being incredibly serious and boring. Gravitas can be conveyed in a fairly light way. And Churchill did that. Um, you might accuse Harold Macmillan of being the first political product of the television age, and he was certainly an actor, but I think there was an underlying seriousness and depth there, just as I would also accuse um, um, Harold Wilson. Alec Douglas Hill and Ted Heath. Uh, Jim Callaghan and uh, uh, Margaret Thatcher of having serious death.